more stuff than Kyle Shanahan said. So he casually said that he never talks to Jimmy Garoppolo in the offseason, but he and Trey Lance talk every day during the offseason. What is your reaction to that, I mean, That's great. That's, that's great, right? Unlike Jimmy Garoppolo, right. who doesn't talk to Kyle Shanahan and, you know, the head coach, yeah. that offensive coordinator, if this is true and Trey does talk to Kyle every day, that's great, right? You keep in touch with your head coach. You build yeah. a relationship with your head coach during the off season. Your head coach knows, you know, where you are, what you're doing, right? But yeah. like, I mean, it's just great, right? Because every important quarterback and coach, you have to have a good bond with each other. You have to have a good relationship with each other, right? Where yeah. Jimmy Garoppolo, if you're not answering Kyle's calls or not talking to him for a whole off season, you see him in September, or August, be like, "Hey, what's up, coach?" Right? You just appear yeah. and you're like, "Hey, what's up, coach?" Like, that's kind of weird. That's kind of awkward, right? But if Trey is talking to Kyle every single day, that's great because that builds a relationship that, mm-hmm. you know, that, that it ju- it's just great. It's just great for a quarterback to be in contact with his coach and have a relationship with his coach, not just only on the field and on Sundays and during practices, but also during the offseason when, you know, you know, when, you know, when you're not playing football or you're not, you know, practicing every day and you're on the field. Good answer. Coach, what do you think? What's your reaction? I think, I think it's, I think it's great. It's great. It's great news. Like, it's great news for, for I think, the fan base that believes that or wants Trey Lance to be, to be the starter, because if they are talking every day, it seems like that it's on track, especially with what we just talked about before. If he's not talking to Jimmy, but he is talking to Trey every day, that seems that Kyle wants Trey to be the starter and Trey wants to be the starter because that's a relationship that you need to have successful quarterback in, in the NFL. And I would just say as successful, like any position in the NFL or, or anywhere, because I think as a coach and as a, as a player, you do have to have a, a dialogue with your coaches. I think that relationship is important. You have to build, you have to build trust so much of, so much of football is trust. Cause you're asking a player, you're asking players to do things oftentimes that, that they necessarily don't want to do, or it's not, not in their nature to do, or, or it's, it's counter to what they want to, to naturally what they want to do. And then there's, there's moments as a coach where you have to trust your player to execute and do something. And a lot of that stuff is not necessarily built on the field, but it's just, it's done through relationships and, and things like that. So um, it's so important and it's great that they're doing it. I think it's a, it's a great sign. Uh, and that's the relationship that you want to have. Yeah. This reinforces my, uh, theory that Kyle was the driving force behind bringing Trey Lance to this team. He wanted this quarterback. He wanted someone different than Jimmy Garoppolo. He didn't want to be typecasted to a type of quarterback. Like he knows he liked Kirk Cousins. He knows everyone assumed he wanted Mac Jones. And I think he was like, man, everyone just thinks I like white unathletic quarterbacks. Like, whoa, like, whoa, 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 whoa. I, I like, I like all kind of quarter. What is that about? I never said that. I think he wanted Trey Lance. I think he realized it was a much harder sell on the locker room than he anticipated. And, um, now in year two, it's a much easier sell. He's not a rookie. He's been in the system. Uh, we'll see if it plays out that way. They haven't exactly named him the starter yet, but um, it's also reassuring for Trey. This is who he was supposed to be, right? It's who he was billed as, the guy who loves football, the guy who is always thinking about it, uh, doesn't doesn't socialize, doesn't go out to the clubs, is always got his head in the, in the in playbook. Well, it seems like that's exactly who he is. Like, are you in it to be famous and rich? And to like cross over and do other things, which it almost kind of seems like Jimmy is, or are you just obsessed with football the way the greatest quarterbacks are? Yeah. Seems like that that was his scouting report. That seems to be who he is. Maybe he's just doing it to win the job and endear himself to the quarterback to the head coach. But I just feel like, look, what if what if we heard that Trey Lance was a wall in the offseason, didn't talk to the coach, but Jimmy was all there. I mean, this would be a huge story, right? But it's reversed, and everyone's like, okay, well, there you go. Yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh, no story here. I think this is a big deal. I think this is definitely uh, differentiating uh, the two. And I think that the players on the team should take a look at this. Like you say, you love Jimmy. How committed is he really to this team and his profession compared to this kid that you don't really know that well and haven't given yourself an opportunity to get to know. I think this is great. And this, if he's, if he, it's a tall task to to become the leader on a team where Jimmy Garoppolo is entrenched, you got to do stuff like this. Uh, And, and, and Kyle needs to tell people so good on all parts. It's yeah. a good start, obviously, but you could tell Trey loves the game of football and wants to be great just by his work ethic, right? Like, yes, yeah. he goes on vacation, he has fun, but at the same time, you could see him working out. You could see him putting in the work during the offseason. I've never seen Jimmy Garoppolo 
one video or any you know evidence of Jimmy Garoppolo ever working out during the offseason, right? And it and it translates. His football IQ is yeah. so low. He throws picks yeah. every day in, in training camp, and then he says, yeah. "Well, I'm just I'm working on stuff." No, you don't. You're just replicating how you play in real games. With Trey, he actually the scouting report was high football IQ. Doesn't take unnecessary sacks. Throws the ball away. Uh, doesn't turn the ball over. Like that's what you want. Sorry. Yeah, and you got to remember Trey. We talked about this when he was drafted, before he was drafted. Trey was told, you're not a quarterback. Right. So, And he put he put the work in, and he put the trust in himself, and he took a sh- and, and went to N- NDSU, right? And the, maybe the one good thing about all of this is this is essentially happening again is, you know, he's, by, he's telling you're not an NFL quarterback. Okay. This guy Jimmy, this guy Jimmy Garoppolo is. And we know – how well this stuff has has gone for quarterbacks in the league when they've got that chip on their shoulder. I mean, Tom Brady to this day is still like, is, yeah. he still carries that chip. So um, if he Trey, can, too. he was just yeah. sitting there watching Alex Smith do his thing, like, okay, I'm not as good as this. Okay, yeah. If what? Trey can take that and and continue to to use it to fuel the fire and and maybe do some of the things that you know Colin didn't do before, is you know put the work in and and you know um, and do all that extra, of the game. extra yeah. stuff, be a student of the game, and, and all that stuff, then he can make a – if he's given the opportunity. He's not a student of the game either. Huh? Jimmy isn't a student. What's no. funny, Jimmy's no. so different than Colin because Jimmy's so bland and stands for nothing, but they're both – I'm sorry. I'm going to say stuff that's going to piss off hella people. They're both pretty boys. They both love being celebrities. They're both all about their image. And they're neither one's a student of the game. They're very similar, Jimmy Garoppolo and Colin Kaepernick. Very similar guys in terms of how they approach the quarterback position. I like Trey's approach. I like Trey's approach, and I'm glad that he's sticking to it. This is this was how he was built. I'm just I mean, it, I mean, if you look at Brady's and uh, Brady and Rogers, right? Like Rogers is a talented football player, right? Yeah. But you look at Brady, right? Brady has that work ethic, right? Is Brady does Brady have the strongest arm in the NFL? Is Brady the most mobile quarterback in the NFL? No, Brady, Brady, but Brady makes good decisions yep. and he puts in the work during the offseason, right? Yes. Where and like the thing about Brady is Brady's the type of guy where he loves football, right? When if he loses a game, that's what he's thinking about that night, right? That's yep. what he's thinking about. He's like, I have to, I have to, I have to bounce back, I have to come back stronger, I have to win the next week, I have to win the next Sunday, right? That's what Brady's mentality is. So you look at Rogers, right? Rogers is great. Rogers is one of the most talented players, has the strongest arm, can move, can extend plays. But Rodgers really, like, Rodgers doesn't have that, like, Brady mentality where, like, all right, I lose on Sunday. I'm not saying that he doesn't care, but Rodgers is just, I feel like Rodgers is just talented at football. He doesn't, like, love football or, or like, Brady mm-hmm. does, right? So, like, same thing with Jimmy, right? Jimmy, Jimmy makes good enough money. He makes the money. He wins games, right? He's like, all right, like, we're a Trey. Trey has that. He has to prove something still. Right. And like yeah. Coach Noah Johnson said, in college, he was told that he wasn't a quarterback, he, he, I even I saw that he went to Elite 11 and that he didn't get selected, even though he was doing fine, he didn't get selected, right? So he's always had something to prove. And even now, the team, even if you look at the team, right, it's not like the team is backing Trey Lance 100% and said, we believe in you. No, Trey, Trey, is, Trey has to prove something next season, right? And he's putting in the work and putting in the effort to try to get better. That way he will be successful next season, right? Because he loves football and cares about football, unlike Jimmy Garoppolo. Good call. Ryan G. Hensley says Jimmy Garoppolo is gone at some point. Trey Lance is starting. Don Yee and Niners both overplayed their hands. Niners just playing politics, saying what they must. Trey time. Um, <laughs> hey, look, I believe it when I see it. Everyone keeps telling me that Jimmy Garoppolo is going to be gone. It hasn't happened yet. Uh, the one thing that makes gives me confidence that the Niners won't keep him as a backup is I think their ownership is too cheap to spend $27 million on a backup just so they can get a third-round comp pick. Although, I don't know. Maybe, maybe they want that third-round comp pick that bad. Because that's just saving face at that point. So we'll see. I, I hope you're right, Ryan. 